Good day everyone. Today we will be discussing the definitions, postulates, and theorems on points, lines, and angles. So let's start with our first definition. We have the midpoint. If points P, Q, and R are collinear and Q is the midpoint of PR, then we have segment PQ is congruent to segment QR. So when we say collinear, the points lie in the same line. So if we're going to draw, let's say this is our P, then Q and R. Q is the midpoint of PR. So that means Q lies between point P and point R. Then we have segment PQ. Segment PQ is equal to segment QR. So segment PQ is congruent to segment QR. Let's say if this is 4CM, PQ is 4CM, therefore QR is also 4CM. If PQ measures X, therefore QR measures also X. So that is the definition of midpoint. It divides the segment into two congruent or equal segment or parts. Let's have our second definition. We have the angle bisector. When we say angle bisector, it divides the angle into two congruent or equal angles. Let's say we have if ray QS bisects angle PQR. So if we have the angle P, Q, then R. Then we have QS, okay? It bisect the angle. So this is our S, Q, S. Then angle P, Q, S, P, Q, S. This angle is congruent to S, Q, R. S, Q, R is equal to this angle. So they are equal. So if they are equal, if this angle measures 35 degrees, then SQR is also 35 degrees. If we have, let's say, the same given, so we have P, Q, S and R, if this is X, the other angle also measures X. If in your given is 25 degrees, this angle is 25 degrees. So that is the angle bisector. Now we have the segment addition postulate. If P, Q, and R are collinear and Q is between points P and R, then PQ plus QR is equal to PR. So let us illustrate. So we have point P, then another point R. And Q is between P and R. So let's say Q is located here. Therefore we have PQ plus QR is equal to PR. Let's say we have 2 cm as our measurement for PQ, then QR is 6 cm. So we're going to find PR. So 2 plus 6, that is equal to PR. Now we have 2 plus 6, that is 8. What is our unit? CM is equal to P. 
Next, if we have PQ as X plus 5 and QR is 3X plus 2, so find PR. So PR is x plus 5 plus 3x plus 2 is equal to pr then combine like terms x plus 3x that is 4x now we have 5 plus 2 plus 7 is equal to pr that would be the measurement of pr now we have angle addition postulate if point S lies in interior of angle PQR, then measure angle PQS plus measure angle SQR is equal to measure angle PQR. So we're going to straight here. So we have angle PQR. So angle PQR. Okay. P. Q. Then R. Then point S is located in the interior of the angle PQR. Now, if we're going to connect the point to our vertex, okay, it should be a straight line, our vertex, so this is our S. So we have measure angle PQS plus measure angle SQR is equal to measure angle PQS. Let's say we have here um, 20 degrees and this one is 43 degrees. So what is the measure of angle PQR? So you need to add 20 plus 43 that is 63 degrees. Now we have the definition of Supplementary angles. Two angles are supplementary if the sum of their measures is 180 degrees. So if the sum of their measures is 180 degrees. Now, determine whether the following pairs of angles are supplementary. So, we're just going to write yes if the following pairs are supplementary and no if not. So, let's get the sum. 45 plus 135, that will give us 180 degrees. Okay, the sum, their sum is 180. So, our first pair, our number one is yes. So next example. 90, then we have a perpendicular here. So that is 90 plus 90, that measures 180 degrees. That means the two angles, or the angle pair is a supplementary. Now we have number 3, 120 plus 50, that is 170 degrees. So, no. And for number 4, 45 plus 70, that is 115 degrees. So this is no. That is the supplementary angle. Now we have the complementary angles. Two angles are complementary if the sum of their measures is 90 degrees. So if we're going to add the pair of angles, the sum must be 90 degrees. So let's have determine whether the following pairs of angles are complementary. So let's check if their sum is 90. So 30 plus 55, that is 85. So the answer in number one is no. Next we have 56 plus 48. Their sum is 104 so this is no and number three we know that this symbol is a perpendicular line or this sign is a perpendicular line that measures 90 so 90 plus 15 105 
So this is nine. So let's say we have number four. Let's say this angle measures 30 degrees. And this angle measures 60 degrees. So 30 plus 60, that is 90. Of course, that is a complementary angle. Now we have the linear pair. Linear pair is a pair of adjacent angles formed by two intersecting lines. So when we say adjacent angles, these are the angles next to each other. So we have intersecting lines. So let's say this line, let's say line L intersect to line M. Okay. Adjacent angles formed by two intersecting lines. So let's say this is our our angle one, two, three, and four. So our linear pair in this figure is angle one and angle two. Adjacent angles. It can be angle two and angle three. Or it can be angle four and angle three. And less, we also have angle one and angle four. Angle four. So those are the linear pairs. Pair of angle, adjacent angles form in intersecting lines. So one in an angle one and angle two, angle two and angle three, angle four and angle three, and angle one and angle four. Now we also have the linear pair theorem. If two angles form a linear pair, then they are supplementary. That means their sum is equal to 180 degrees. Say that is our intersecting lines. Let's say A and B. If this is 110, what is the measure of angle? Angle, let's say angle 2 or simply 2. 2, okay. This is 110 degrees, so this is angle 2. Uh, no, we're going to use, let's say X. Okay. Now, what is the measure of angle X? So, since they are a linear pair, we just need to subtract from 180. So, 180 minus 110, that is 70 degrees. So, X, angle X is equal to 70 degrees. So, if we're going to check, they are a linear pair, 110 plus 70, that is 180. So, linear pair theorem, linear pair, is connected to the supplementary angles. And if we're going to use our figure here, we can say that measure of angle 1 plus measure of angle 2, that is equal to 180 degrees. Next, measure of angle 2 plus measure of angle 3, that is equal to 180 degrees. Measure angle Measure angle 4 plus measure angle 3, that is also equal to 180 degrees. Measure angle 1 plus measure angle 4, that is equal to 180 degrees. That is the linear pair and the linear pair theorem. Next, we have the vertical angles. Vertical angles refer to two non-adjacent angles formed by intersecting lines. So let's illustrate, let's say we have line L and line M. So they intersect at exactly one point. Now vertical angles are non-adjacent angles. So non-adjacent angles, so let's say it can be one, two, three, four. Adjacent angles are pair of angles. So, angle 1 and angle 3. 
can be angle 2 and angle 4. So those are the adjacent angles. And vertical angles, or vertical angle theorem number 10, vertical angles are congruent. So we can say that the measure of angle 1 is congruent or equal to measure of angle 3. And the measure of angle 2 is equal to the measure of angle 4. Now let's have another example. Here, let's say this is 50 degrees. So 1, 2, 3. Now, what is the measure of angle 1, angle 2, and angle 3? So, using the vertical angle theorem, we can immediately get the measure of angle 2. So, measure of angle 2, measure of angle 2 is equal to 50 degrees. Now, we know that vertical angles, by vertical angles, angle 1 and angle 3 are also equal. But we don't have measurement yet. We can now use the linear pair theorem, which indicates that adjacent angles are supplementary. So 180 minus 50, that means 130, is the measure of angle 1. So measure of angle 1 is equal to 130 degrees. And measure of angle 3 is also equal to 130 degrees. Okay. So those are the definitions, postulates, and theorems on points, lines, and angles, and of course the linear pairs. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV.